Hello and welcome to the 10th Tribal Council of Surviving 1984 Director's Cut. I am here with the Reed Tribe. Say hi guys. <laughs> okay, so um, obviously one person uh, came here safe tonight. That is Brian. Brian, um, please tell us what the competition was and tell us, do you think you needed immunity this week? Okay. Um, so the the immunity was deal or no deal, classic. Um, and I got the 750k case, and I just kept my case, played it safe, went for it, and I ended up winning. Um, and did I need it tonight? I mean, at this point, I think every immunity everyone needs because you never know what could happen. If I didn't have immunity tonight, my name easily could have get could have got brought up as well as I, I think at this point in the game, I think anyone's name could get brought up at any time. So safety is safety and at this point i think everyone's just going to be gunning for immunities because i don't think anyone's safe at this point so hern you won immunity last round do you think that um winning the first individual challenge um or any challenge could possibly put a target on your back um i mean that specific challenge you know it was literally code names like you can only like you can only play code names once for a challenge so i don't think it's going to come up again yeah, like skill something into this merge so i don't think it's going to put into target necessarily my back you know we might have done but again it's code names and a lot comp so it's, these are not like big challenges. Okay, you keep cutting out, so I'm going to move on. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Okay, um, so Hunter, um, there are still seven Davises in this game, and by, or sorry, four Murphys. Um, are tribal lines still drawn, or um, are, or, sorry, are tribal lines still drawn in the sand, and do we expect a Murphy to be leaving? Hunter left. So I'm going to give that question to, uh, oh, Hunter. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We are having some technical difficulties here, folks. <laughs> Hunter, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. can you okay. Hear me? Did you hear my question? No, I did not. Okay. There are seven Davises and four Murphys still in the game. Are the tribal lines still drawn in the sand? Um, and do we expect to see a Murphy going home tonight? I had to think because last time I stood long tried, I said the opposite whenever I was using tribe names. Um, but no, I mean, it's an individual game at this point. I think everyone's just thinking what's going to get them to the next round. Can y'all hear me? It's saying my internet's unstable. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's just like who, what's going to get you to the next round. If that's sticking with your tribe, then it's sticking with your tribe. If it's working with people who weren't on your original tribe, then it's that, you know? I think we're all just trying to survive another day. So I don't think necessarily that tribal lines are still intact in, in this game. I think it's more so we're working with people who we think will get us further in the game personally. So Jake, hearing all of that, um, what factors go into tonight's vote? For me, uh, what goes into this vote tonight is definitely, you know, who I've had communication with. Um, it's who I've been able to trust even a little bit uh, far in this game. Um, we're obviously thinking about idols. We still have the Davis one that's fucking MIA and then the new merge one that I'm, I think is already found. That's my guess. Um, but there's so much stuff that goes into tonight's vote and it's hard to pinpoint just one thing. So obviously, um, Jake just mentioned idols. So Brandon, <laughs> you played an idol um, to secure yourself a spot in the merge. Um, so do you feel like there are still idols out there, and could we see one tonight? I don't fucking know. Look, I played my idol because I didn't feel like I was safe. That's just me. There's obviously the idol on the other tribe. God knows who has that at this point. And then there's the merge tribe out. God knows who's found it at this point, because who fucking knows anymore? Um, but honestly, idols can play a big part if you like really consider them. It's not that 
big of a concern for me at this point because I'd rather not think about it. And this is coming from the person who played one. <laughs> okay. So, I'm sorry, I'm playing Jackson, Pokemon right myself. <laughs> Jackson, at this point in the game, what classifies somebody as a threat? And do you want to keep the threats around? Or do you think it's better to vote them out? Um, I definitely feel like, you know, if you, you let a threat get too far, um, they could definitely win the game. Um, I feel like it, what it comes down to, at least tonight, is who you think you can move forward with. Um, and yeah. So, Connor, for you, what types of players do you find the most dangerous in a game of Survivor? Physical, strategic, social? I feel like each characteristic is going to be dangerous. Like, if someone's super strategic, that's dangerous. If someone's super social, that's dangerous. And if someone's super physical, that's dangerous. And if you have a combination of three, that's dangerous as well. Um, being as someone who hasn't played with a lot of these people yet, we just merged. So it's really hard to tell with um, some of the Davises, like, who has what or if you have any. So um, for me, um, what I try to value is, like, loyalty. And what I try to value and what I try to find as well is loyalty. Um, I know last round my vote was kind of weird. Everyone was like, what? But like for me, that was about proving loyalty. And I definitely think that's going to show in this vote as well. So, Brian, um, do you feel like people start to amp up their games come Merge? Or do you think, um, like, does the game get more crazy now that Merge started? Or do you think the pre-Merge is more the crazy part? Um, I think it's, I think, I think the answer is both. Like it's crazy, but in different ways. Whereas in the pre-merge, you're setting yourself up to have people to move forward with the people that you think you might work with in the merge. It's like in the merge, now comes the who can you beat, who's going to target you, who's a threat, who's not a threat. It's, the merge has so many different factors than the pre-merge does, so it's like almost a completely different game. But I definitely do think things are going to start getting crazy from here on out. So, Caitlin, obviously you are from the Murphy tribe. Um, so, do you feel like there are any cracks um, right now into the Davis tribe that you can fit through? Or do you think you're kind of like a sitting duck right now waiting to be voted off? I for sure feel like I'm a sitting duck. I don't really feel like I've made enough connections with other people from the original Davis tribe. And now that, like, the only two names I heard were the names that – were two guys from my original one. And so I'm just kind of waiting for that crack to happen so I can get my foot in the door and hopefully move forward from there. Okay, sorry. So Livingston, um, obviously you all were told that live night is coming up soon. Um, so how does this knowledge change the vote? I don't know if it affected this vote, but I think people are probably definitely going to be wanting to put some work in to make sure the things are together for them to stay on live night. Because live night, if you plan for it, it can go fairly well, but it's very easy to get antsy and scrambly. And me, myself, historically, my past three orgs, I've went home two of the live nights. So, like, I don't like live night. I hate the I hate the whole thing and I'm like not looking forward to it so it's definitely something you know to keep in mind for all of us as we move forward but I don't think it's going to affect tonight okay um Constance perfect timing <laughs> um okay. so it seems that the game is currently Davis versus Murphy um but seven people obviously can't go to the end. So do you think people are already thinking about that? Or are we going to be seeing a Davis final seven? Well, I mean, um, you know, if you're smart, you would definitely understand that, you know, seven people can't make a finale if that's the case. Um, as far as, you know, uh, tribal unity or whatever like that, um, people, you know, kind of, you know, try to see or whatever it is. Um, but for me, you know, um, like you just said, you know, uh, seven's not the finale number. Um, and ultimately, in the end, you do got to start thinking for yourself and got to start thinking about what's going to be beneficial for you and your game. And I'm just thankful to be able to even have made it to the jury stage. So, um, you know, that's about it for me. But, you know, it's really quiet on my end. So I'm just always doing what I can each round, every round. So. Okay. So with that, I have no more questions. Um, before I get to the vote, does anybody else have anything to say? 
Okay, I will go collect the votes. Um, please, everybody, go to your confessional chat and either confirm or cast your vote. I'm going to go off camera. You guys can give shout outs, um, call people out, do whatever you need at this time. To give a shout out to uh, Josh, winner of last season, because if I remember right, he yelled at me last night because no one has given him a shout out this season because his, Wait, his golden boy Tim went out. <laughs> um, shout out to Caitlin's cat that I saw. Yeah, shout that's, I give a shout out there too. This is Chan. Shout out to my best friend, Grace Yonsei. I actually have an apology because I did forgot to tell you guys good morning this morning and send the heart and the smiley face. <laughs> oh, the you are fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it, Caitlin. I have a little I have a little Google Doc I keep track of. I keep track of everyone, uh, what days they say good morning and just know that that's going to come back to haunt all of y'all. Mine is just blank. <laughs> I didn't do it this morning either. Sorry, so it's gone. Gonna... Also, I'm playing Pokemon right now, so it's like, ooh. <laughs> Chance or Dean, he's all over me. Who is that? Do y'all hear robots here? Do I hear robots here? Internet's being weird for a lot of people tonight. You know, I just always have to be here. I was. All right, P. Constant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, I have the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Hey, Michael, I found this under my bed. Can I play it? Okay, the rules of Survivor state if anybody plays a hidden immunity idol, any votes for that person will not count. This is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes for Connor will not count. Anybody else? Okay, I will read the votes. When the votes are read, the decision is final and the person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. First vote, Connor does not count. Second vote. Connor does not count. Connor does not count. Fourth vote. Connor does not count. Connor does not count. Connor does not count. Connor does not count. Eighth vote. Connor does not count. Ninth vote. Connor does not count. Tenth vote, Jackson. Eleventh vote. And the tenth person voted out a surviving 1984 director's cut and the second member of our jury, Jackson. Jackson, do you have any final words? Nah, good. Good play, Karnan. No hard feelings there, bud. Um, good luck, everyone, and play hard. Jackson, it has been great having you. <laughs> the tribe has spoken and it's time for you to go. So, two idol plays this season so far.
somebody going home with only two votes tonight. This game is clearly not as stable as some of you think it is. So um, your next immunity challenge will be posted shortly. Good luck.